Llywarydd y cydwarwyd Natasha Ashford. Conservative spokesperson Natasha Ashford. Presiding officer, uh, firstly, I thank the Deputy Minister for his statement today. I wish to put on record that the Welsh Conservatives do fully support the metro projects across Wales. Uh, but I do want to also just put in there that we don't think it's going to be a full-fledged solution to the... Uh, to the environmental crisis. We do share your hope that it will make it easier for people to use their cars less and use public transport more. However, we do have concerns that your government is relying too much on the metro as an immediate transport solution for South Wales. I know you mentioned £750 million was being spent on South Wales, which, as someone from South Wales, that's great. But just in comparison, £50 million for North Wales is a bit of a kick in the teeth for those people who live in, now, in, in North Wales. Deputy Minister, I just want to give you an example. If I fall and trip right now, and break my hand, a plaster will literally only do a certain, it'll help me to a certain point. But if I actually need a cast to resolve the issue that I have at hand, that's what we need here in Wales. We need a cast, something that's actually going to solve the problem of transport. Therefore, it's my belief that the economic benefits derived from the metro will be offset by the damage done by your failure to invest in improving our roads. As the planning inspector of the proposed M4 relief road said in 2019, if the Southwest Metro were created overnight, it would only alleviate traffic by 5.9%. So I'd like to know, have your figures changed since then? Your decision to freeze all new road building has been met with widespread dismay by businesses in Wales. The Road Haulage Association has criticised the move and said that Wales needs a fit for purpose road network to boost your trade. You mentioned previously in a statement that one out of five people do not have access to a car. I very much, and this is not me being uh, difficult, but I very much like to know where you got the figure from because my main concern is those four out of five that we haven't discussed and mentioned. So, Deputy Minister, do you feel that the South Wales Metro may not actually solve all the transport problems of South Wales and that we need an efficient modern road infrastructure as well, side by side. Your comments on new and improved bus services are welcomed by myself and many of my colleagues, but merely highlighting the neglect and decline in bus services that has taken place under the Welsh Labour Government. Under your government, the number of local bus journeys has fallen from 100 million from 2016 to 17 to 89 million in 19 to 20. So how will you deliver this promised increase in bus services? Six years ago, the, uh, Wales replaced the bus service operating grant with a bus services support grant with funding set at £25 million. It is shocking, therefore, that this fixed pot of £25 million has not changed since the BSSG inception. So how will you deliver this promised increase in bus services when funding per passenger is inadequate and compares poorly with that provided for rail passengers? I sincerely, from every ounce of my soul, welcome your comments on a new integrated ticketing system and flexible fare options. But can you advise what is the present position regarding my, all, my call for an all Wales travel card, which received a positive response from the First Minister, having spoken to those behind the Oyster card in London, we already have the system in place here in Wales and have the infrastructure to provide that all-important All Wales Travel card. But I, and I love the idea of having a debit card system here. The tap and go system would be fantastic for so many people across the board, but it will cost a lot of money and time. Do we have that time, Deputy Minister? Finally, Minister, I agree that Wales needs new and improved train stations and have supported calls for one at Maegan and Undy. And I'd like to know what discussions have you had specifically or intend to have with the UK um, Secretary of State for Transport, Grant Shapps, to make this a reality and deliver these vital links in the Welsh network chain right now? Thank you very much. Deputy Minister. Well, thank you for a whole series of questions there. And I'm mindful of the Deputy Carrier's uh, um, cleave to keep the answer 